A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to add text comment in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So here is our example where we are going to work upon. And uh, in order to do the exercise, what you have to do, we have to press comment section. And when we press the comment section, you will see a rich list of tools. We can activate the same thing, going to the tools tab and pressing comment tab. So what we are trying to explore is here, add text comment. And when we press it here, you will see a icon like this and press it like this. And then we can type delete paragraph. Suppose this is our comment. So what we can do, uh, we can change the font type here. Here is the icon. When we press it here, you will see a option came here. We can change the font type here by something else. We can change the size and we can change the color. So there is another two option line spacing and enlarge the line spacing which we can't show it because this is only one line uh, another option is that to paste using the clipboard at this point of time what we have done we have copied it we have typed it actually sorry so suppose we want to copy from clipboard group so we have to we have to copy a text first so here i'm going to copy a text copied it and then I'm going to add a text comment. I have to opt for this option and then the, this icon appear and then I'm going to paste it. You will see the same font, same color is here. If you want to change it, we can change it from here. Change the font type, size and color. Here, I think uh, what we can do, we can uh, trim it to this level. So but we can do it by uh, making the box, text box size smaller. So what we are going to do is, we are going to press escape. So this option is uh, cancel now. So when we bring the mouse over here, you will see the box is like this. So we will go to the right hand corner and you will see a icon like this and we can pull it towards this side and then you will see the box is big box is smaller now. If you want to move the at the comment box, we have to wait for this cross icon and then we can move it as per our wish. If you want to enlarge this box, what we can do, we can wait for this arrow and press it like this so we can change how it will appear in the text box here we can also increase and decrease the line spacing and for that what we have to do we have to go there again and uh, you can see we are increasing the line spacing and if you want to decrease the line spacing we can press the other side and reduce the spacing again we have to adjust the box we can also change the status or set a status and why it will be beneficial i will show it in just a few seconds so here i'm going to set the status as accepted and here i'm going to set the status as rejected there are multiple options we can select it so here is different icon and one is here is the accepted here is the completed icon so if you want to filter it suppose you have a multiple text comment so you can filter based on what is the the status so here we will see the accepted is selected so we will see only accepted Let's 
see only accepted so you will see only accepted if you see only completed and remove the accepted option you will see only only a completed option if you want to show both just apply both if you want to change the if you want to check the uh, the grammatical error right click and check spellings and you will see these all the text we can choose a kind of uh, different language so here is perfectly fine for me and I will select the start and it will it is showing that there is no spelling error so I'll press done and then I'll accept it we can delete it also by just going there right click and opt for delete if we have deleted it by mistakes we can bring it back by pressing ctrl z if you want to add a comment or some kind of note we'll select it and then we'll go there and press add add comment one and then post it it is just to help the users to tell why this comment is given so that is all for this tutorial and I hope it has given you idea about how to use text comment in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. How you have found the video, please do write in the comment section. And if you have liked it, please do like and share. For more videos, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the upcoming videos. With this, I will say goodbye and see you soon.